Hey, my name is Kat gondry -Bach, and I'm an Irish photographer mostly based in Iceland. So I've been using the Allen Crumb 1 and I love it so much. I specialize in doing outdoor lifestyle, portrait and music photography and also self-portraiture. I love using the Allen Crumb 1 because it is small, it is lightweight and it's weather sealed. So I can take it out into a snowstorm like today and it works perfectly well. I also love that I can fit it into my hiking bag and into my suitcase really, really easily and travel across the world with it. So I'm going to take you guys on a journey around Iceland and the world and show you how I use the one. Are you ready? Let's go! So today I'm on a glacier with Viking Women Tours. They focus on women-only tours in Iceland and they are such badass women. So we're gonna take some portraits of them. And it's quite low sunlight at the moment, this lovely like low winter sun. It is currently minus seven degrees Celsius, which is 19 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is very cold, but it's beautiful. So we are gonna use the one. So basically we've got quite harsh shadows on the side of the face. So we're gonna use the one to just soften those shadows a little bit. So I'm really excited. My experience of the one in winter in Iceland is incredible. Like it can get down to minus 15 degrees Celsius here and it does not turn off. The battery life is incredible on it. I can recharge it with the portable battery and yeah, it is really, really good in cold conditions and it really helps me with the light. So kind of here, yeah, and then hold the light up and down. Yeah, perfect. Yes. <laughs> So you're gonna look at me. I'm gonna turn up the light a little bit and I can actually use the dial on this so I don't have to go over to the one. Without the light, there is a huge shadow on the side of Saga's face, but we brought in the light to just make it a lot more flattering. I love taking the one with me around the world. So I've been using it to create really nice shadows on people's faces in places like Namibia and South Africa. So I did a shoot with Dope St. Jude, who's an amazing rapper in Cape Town. And I took it to an erupting volcano in Iceland where we used both the flash, but also the modeling light to create some really dim and moody portraits with it. I love using it with the Northern Lights, especially with the Okta, because it means that you can get this side light that really pops you out from the background. And I brought it with me to Morocco, where I was shooting in the desert at sunset. And then I did a sunrise shoot with a yoga instructor, where I used the one to fill in the shadows because I was using the sunrise to backlight her. So today I am in Thingvitlir in Iceland, and I'm really excited because I'm going to be shooting a self-portrait. And I'm going to be wearing a design by an incredible local designer called Lima Udra. It's very distinct dystopian, futuristic, I love it. So it's currently two degrees Celsius or 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's a little bit of a snowstorm, but it's nothing the Allen Crom 1 can't handle. So on my Allen Crom 1, I've got my favorite modifier, which is the 100 centimeter Rotolux Deep Octa. And I've got a sandbag on the stand there because it's a bit windy. And I've also got my battery pack on there, which I love so much. I'm able to charge my Allen Crom 1 while I'm shooting. So yeah, let's go. The reason why I chose the Rotolux Deep Octa for this shoot is that it really spreads out the light and I really love how it creates quite a natural fall onto the body. So I wanted to use the light to just make myself pop a little bit out of the background, but I didn't want it to look fake. I didn't want it to look like I was using flash. So that's what I really love about this modifier is that it makes everything just look really natural, but also makes a really nice contrast. 